Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWNFEEF at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a brand new video guys. This is a bit of an advice video for you. Do not buy these Festival of Foot cards yet. Because this video will probably come out on the Saturday or Sunday. You really do want to avoid these yet. Do not buy them. So they're not out yet at the moment. So it's just a talking video guys. I'm going to explain to you what's happening basically here. It's going to be like a massive information pack video. So don't worry about the screen. It's just there for like no reason. So basically as these players are getting packed guys. They're going to come out. They're going to be a low rating right. And we're going to be having Euros games going on. So realistically here you want to wait and see what happens in the first Euro game. To try and get a feel for which players may have a chance of going through. But if you go and buy, like I say, one of these players and they lose their first game, the likelihood is they're going to struggle to get through the group. Like, realistically here, if they lose their first game, they're going to struggle. And if they do, or if they're a big team in a bad group and they lose their big game, you want to take a risk maybe. Say, let's say England lose their first game to Croatia. And let's say Mason Mount has got a foot thingy card. I don't know if he's got one yet, but let's say if he has. He's going to drop because England are going to lose their first game. He's not going to get an upgrade, let's say. You probably can be realistic here and say England are going to beat Scotland and whoever else in the group, Czech Republic. You're going to be realistically thinking here they're going to beat those two teams. So you'd, I would recommend them going to buy some English players. You'll be able to get them cheap, they'll have dropped. People will be panic selling. You'll hold them until, say, England get through the group. They'll then rise because the rating goes up. And then you can sell them. Or you can hold them even longer if you think England are going to do better. Hold them on. But... For me, I would not buy these cards in the first round. I'd wait for the first games to happen. It's totally up to you guys if you want to, but I'm just saying what I would be doing. I would definitely not 100,000% be buying any of these cards until at least the first games are done. Until I've seen what teams are playing like. Fans could have a shocker, say. Say Mbappe gets the card. You go and pay like 3 million for it. He then loses the first two games in the group. They're out. And that card's going to drop to about 2 mil, 1.8. You're lose a million coins on a card for the sake of waiting. It might go up to 3.5, but then he's not going to drop any further than that. Once these cards get to this next region, they're not going to suddenly drop unless they lose, like, badly. Like, you know what I mean? They're guaranteed to lose. You're going to obviously back out. You're going to wait until they're either out of the competition. But if you're risk takers, guys, I know we're in June. It's not a massive subject, but that's just my advice on it. Any questions down below, please just, like, ask anything you want. I'll answer to any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next.